Welcome to the EXP group discussion of ACCA paper F2 on management accounting. Today we want to uh, touch a few con uh, topics under the heading of cost accounting uh, techniques. And in particular, we would start with um, materials. Now, F2 requires a basic familiarity with the um, procedural steps necessary in uh, ordering, receiving, and issuing materials in the daily life of a business. Uh, materials that are purchased, raw materials that go into our raw materials inventory, things that get processed within the firm and are passed on from department to department, semi-finished goods, until they reach their final uh, stage of processing. What we want to uh, focus on today is, uh, is the concept of economic order quantity. And it's a, a technique which allows us to minimize costs in the handling, the ordering and the holding of inventory. In order to do this, we need to uh, define um, what, for, for the given material, we need to define how much quantity we would require on an annual basis. That's what we will call D. We need to know the purchase price, uh, the cost to the company for purchasing one unit of the material. Then there's the fixed cost per order. Now the fixed cost C is referring to the cost of the transaction, the, the actions involved in ordering. It doesn't uh, include the purchase price itself. And there's a presumed to be a fixed cost per order, so every time we order, the costs will go up, will be a, a vary with the number of times we have to order the materials. And H is the cost of holding one unit for one year, and this is expressed in monetary terms. We'll see how this is important um, presently. Now, when we have these variables, we should want to develop a formula which gives us the order quantity, the size of the, uh, am the amount to be ordered to be optimal. Now, our total cost function, the total costs involved um, in connection with materials will be the purchase cost. That is the amount that we have to pay per unit times the demand over a period of time, in this case annual demand. The ordering cost is going to be the number of times that we have to place orders times that fixed cost per order C. And our holding cost is going to be uh, a cost which is, um, which, which is calculated on the basis of the average amount of, of inventory that we hold over the period of time. And it's the total cost function that we have to minimize. Now there's some assumptions involved here. I'd like to move to a numerical um, example to, to make this um, to make this most concrete. The formula that we will use and which is given in the formula sheet for F2 is as follows. It's the economic order quantity will be equal to the square root of 2 times C times D over H. These are the variables that we have defined above. And just to put this to work in a specific example, let us consider the following. Suppose we have a company which has a weekly demand for some kind of material. weekly demand of 500 units. Suppose further that every time an order is placed, the ordering cost will be $40 per order placed. And the holding cost cost of holding these materials will be equal to 7% of the 
purchase price and of course we should like to know what the purchase price is let's put the purchase price at fifteen dollars per unit and for the sake of uh, simplicity let's assume a fifty week year. Now the reason why we do this is because we have here weekly demand and we mentioned at the outset that we need to determine what the annual demand D is going to be. So D will be equal to 500 units required per week times 50 weeks in a year. The ordering cost is the dollar cost per order. We have that number directly so the ordering cost C is equal to $40. Our holding cost, we said, has to be equal to a monetary, um, monetary amount. This is 7% of the purchase price. Here's our purchase price. So our holding cost per unit will be equal to and remember, this is the holding cost for one unit. So 7% of $15 gives us an H equal to $1.05. Now we have all the key ingredients we need for our formula. So the economic order quantity is going to be equal to 2 times C, or $40, times D, which is 500 times $50, all divided by H, $1.05. And if we calculate that, take the square root, we'll end up with 1,380. The interpretation being that each time the company places an order, it will minimize its total costs by ordering, having an order quantity of 1,380 units. Now remember the formula for the economic order quantity is given in a formula sheet for the exam and therefore it's important that the candidate be able to uh, interpret the variables that go into the formula and to be able to interpret the result of the calculation.